can we do motion graphic and cap cut like After Effect? I say, yes, why not? And I made these videos for Lay's brand by using only cap cut. So in this video, I will show you the process of making motion graphic in CapCut. Actually, I made these videos for my girlfriend, because last night she said, I'm hungry, babe. Cook some chips for me. So let's cook some chips for her. This tutorial has three steps. Pick up your pen and your notebook. Step 1. What files we need to download. 3 chips bags. 2 onion. Some chips. 3 red pepper photo. 6 circle with dark and light color. And Lay's logo brand. Now we should convert them to PNG. I use Photoshop, but you can use Canvas or Online Photo Edit, or if you're using mobile, you can use Pixart app. The process is the same. Import your chips image in Photoshop. Then, use Magic Wand Tool. The shortcut is W key on your keyboard. So, select white areas. Then, press Backspace key on your keyboard to delete the white area. MP. Now, use Lasso Tool and select a round one of chips. And then press Ctrl X for cutting chips. Now press Ctrl V for pasting chips to new layer. Do same process for other pieces too. After separating all chips in different layers, now select all layers. Click right mouse button. Click on export as. Click on blue export button and choose your folder. And done. You should do this process for other image too. Like onion, pepper, and any image you want to use in your motion. Remember, to create a new folder for other chips or onion layers, because Photoshop replacing new layers to old layer, you will lose your layer files if you don't make new folder. Import Lay's logo into Photoshop. Then by using wand tool, select the letters and shadow of letter together. If you want to add the selection, hold shift and click on left mouse button and select the shadow. After selecting all the letters, press Ctrl X for cutting, then press Ctrl V for pasting, then put Lay's word at right location, then hide the Lay's layer, and then use magic wand tool again to select the Lay's empty area. When all empty area is selected, go to edit part and click on fill, or you can use the shortcut shift F5, and the area will be filled by the red color. Now, by using brush we can clean white edges on the red shape. By holding Alt, you can enable the eyedropper and choose any color in image, and now you can clean areas better. After removing all the red areas, it's time to use Magic Wand Tool and select the red area. Now press Ctrl X for cut and press Ctrl V for pasting the red shape into new layer. Then hide red shape layer. Now we have circle shape. Let's fix empty areas. You can use Ellipse Tool to create circle and select the yellow color by hold the Alt. Then hold the Shift and move your mouse to right side. Click on the left mouse button to make a circle shape. Scale circle to be fit as our circle shape lays logo. And put the circle under ellipse layer. Select both layer. Press Ctrl E for merge them. Now we have four layer. The yellow circle, the red shape, and the Lay's letter and R logo. I don't what's for, I think it means respect or recipe. Okay guys, I'm just kidding. It means Ronaldo. Sure. Now we should separate the letters by using lasso tool. First we separate L, then we separate AY. Now we separate S letter and export the layers as PNG. Just hit in all layers instead of that layer you want to export. Then do this for other layers too, because we can't import the PSD project in CapCut, so we should export them as the PNG but the same size of the project. Now it's time to open CapCut. We start with the red background for chili taste, so we have to put dark red at first layer and make it bigger. Then put light red on top of dark red. You should make it little bigger. Again, Put dark red on top of light red and make it bigger. Continue this process until you get something like this. To make the distance of circles equal, you must choose number for example, 10 or 20. When one of circle size is 100, top circle should be 90 or 80. Now we should animate them by using keyframe. We need to keyframe A and B. A should be 0. B should be the last size of circle like 80 or 120. First we should make keyframe for B size. Select your first layer and go 5 or 8 frame further. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now make keyframe. Don't move anything and select second layer and make keyframe at same frame. Make B keyframe for all layers. After all the B keyframes were made, now it's time for A keyframe. Go at beginning of timeline and select last light red and make scale to zero. A keyframe is made. And do same process for other layers too and you results is this. But, is something not right here? So, go to the beginning of your timeline, then, move 3 or 2 frames further. 
1, 2. Select the second layer and move it to frame 2. Then, go 2 frames further again. After that select the third layer and move it to the same frame. Repeat this process for the other layers to create them like stairs. You should get something like this. Now right click on the second layer and select Show Keyframe Animation. Go to the scale part and select the B frame, then choose Auto Keyframe. Select the A frame and choose Auto Keyframe. This will give you something called a bezier. Sir, can you explain it? Actually, it makes your animation smoother from A to B. Do this process for the other top layers too. The result should be this. Now right click on the layers and hide animation, because we don't want to change the animation anymore. Next, select your chips bag and place it on top of the chips layers. Make it a little smaller to fit in the center of the shot. Now, go to the animation part and choose Shake 2 for in. You will get something like this. Now, select the right reward or use a shortcut key on your keyboard. Delete the right side and cut any extra frames. All layers should end at the same time. You can also increase the duration if you want. It depends on your music and how much time you want to focus on the subject. But remember, commercials videos should be short and give a lot of information to viewers in short time, so don't make it boring. Now, the easy part of the process begins. Duplicate all the layers. Choose another color circle like blue and drag it onto the light red. Replace it and do the same process for dark blue, replacing the dark red. Repeat this process for the other layers too. Now select all the blue layers and duplicate them in the timeline. Replace the yellow circle with the blue circle. You will get something like this. That's it. Now it's time to make the chips fly. Open a new project and import all your chips and green layers into the timeline. Then, drag all chip layers into the timeline and stack them on top of each other. Select all of them and change their scale so that all the layers have the same size. Then, place them at random positions. You can make them a little smaller, but not too small. Next, change the rotation, position, and scale a little to achieve a very random look because human eyes can notice repeated patterns. If you do it well, the viewer will feel comfortable. Now, lock the green screen layer and select all layers. Make them a compound clip. Go to the end of the chips layers and create a keyframe on position. Then, go to the beginning of the timeline and move the chips out of the shot, go up, out of the screen. This is like they falling from the top. Now go to the keyframe B and make sure you're at the right frame. It should be blue. Select the chips and move them down, out of the shot. Now, they are falling from the top and going out from the bottom. X axis should be zero, and Y should move from A to B from 3840 to negative 3840. If you want to increase your falling time to, let's say, 20 or 30 seconds, select your first chips layer, duplicate it, and move it to the right side. Place the second chips layer at the same time when the first chip layer is about to go out of the screen. If you still want to increase your chips falling time, add a third chips layer and continue. So now select your green layer and go to the adjustments to make it a little darker. Don't ask why. But why? Because when you use chroma key to remove light green color, it will affect the chips too. So if you use a dark color, it won't affect other parts because there's no dark green in them. And I will talk more about it in another video. So change the brightness, contrast, and shadow to get a dark color. Export it as 1080 or 2K, depending on your project, and do the same for the other chips too. I did this for onions and chili taste as well. The only difference is, instead of using all chips, I added onion and pepper pieces in random positions. Now we should do something more. Import your single chips into Photoshop, then duplicate the layer and use the polygonal lasso tool to select a part of the chips, as if someone has taken a bite, and press delete. Duplicate the second layer and cut the other part. Repeat this process until you have seven or six layers. Mm -hmm. 
export them as PNG and import them into CapCut. Put the green screen layer first, then stack the layers on top of each other. The smallest piece should be on top. Change the size and position. Then, select all layers and cut the right side. The original chips layer should be at the beginning of the timeline. Move the other layers and make it look like stairs again. Fix duration of the green screen layer. You'll get something like this. It's like someone eating chips. Import all the green screen chips animations we have made in beginning of video. Import them into the original project and place them under the bags. Put the chili under the red bags. Now, go to the cutout part. In the chroma key, choose the color picker and select the green color. Increase the strength to remove the green color. Do this for the other green chips as well. Onions under the blue bags and normal wavy chips under the yellow bags. Next, select the chili chips and go to the speed part. In the curve section, choose the montage curve. It will increase the speed and then make it slow to achieve better and smoother slow motion. Turn on smooth slow motion and select optical flow for smoother slow motion. Do this for the other chips layers as well. Finally, we'll get something like this. For animating the logos of Lays, you should create another new project. Import your green layer and place the yellow circle at the top. Put the other layers on top of each other with the letters at the top. The L should be under the A and S letters. Go to the animation section and select Shake 2 for the in. Do this for all layers. Select the yellow layer and move it three frames further and do this for the other layers too. You'll get something like this. You can use other animations if you want. It depends on your project and your taste. Now, export it. Open the original project and import it into the timeline. For the background, duplicate the blue circles and place them under the Lay's logo animation. Make the logo a little smaller. Then, for the end of the logo, right-click on it and in Edit, freeze the frame because we want to increase the time to focus more on the logo. Now, we need a transition between the tastes of the chips. Select the first blue circle layer and put it on top of the red chips. Go to the animation part and choose slide up for in. And cut right side of circle layer. Now you have a transition between chips. Select the layers and move them a little to the right side because we need three or two frames for the transition. Do this process for blue circle to yellow circle too. For the end of the video, put the eating chips video before the Lay's logo, make it a little smaller, and put the Lay's logo on top of the eating chips. Now, the important part. We should add some motion blur to our chips when they are falling. First, make it a compound clip. In the basic part, add motion blur, wait for the process, and decrease the blur intensity to get a little motion blur and make it more realistic. Finally, we'll get something like this. Now it's time for sound effects. Go to the audio part, sound effects. In the search, type eating chips and import some of them into the timeline. First, listen to which one sounds better and doesn't annoy your ears and import them into the timeline. Put them under your eating chips video layer at the current time when chips are eaten. You can move them or decrease the volume to get your best result. And done. Now, let's send the chips videos for her to see her reaction. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe the channel, and hit bell for new tutorial. And as always, stay creative. True.